Hi, VencoreWeather.com meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Tuesday, December 2nd. A mixed bag of precipitation is headed towards southeastern Pennsylvania and later in the day into the New York City metro region. Right now there's a cold rain falling inside the District of Columbia, well to the north and west of the D.C. metro region. There is sleet falling, places like Harford County, northern Baltimore County. Enough sleet is falling right now that it's noticeable on the sidewalks and some of the roadways. So in the northern suburbs of the district, there certainly can be some sleet mixed in over the next couple of hours. Meanwhile, mixed precipitation of rain, sleet, and even snow headed towards southeastern Pennsylvania uh, over the next hour or two, and then later in the day across the New York City metro region. Well, let's take a look at the latest surface map. The main player right now is this very strong and cold high-pressure system to the north. This moved rapidly from the middle of the country towards New England in the overnight hours, and right now there is a low-level flow of northeast winds bringing cold air right down the coastline into the I-95 corridor. Meanwhile, the frontal system that passed through as a cold front late yesterday has dropped all the way down to the southern part of the Mid-Atlantic. It is now going to turn around and head back north as a warm front. All of this warmer air will ride up and over for, uh, this uh, cold, shallow air mass at the surface, and that will help to cause some mixed precipitation, especially from the Mason-Dixon line up north and east over the next several hours. Eventually, in the overnight hours, the warmer air winds out and it erodes away that low-level cold air at the surface in the I-95 corridor. Well, here's kind of a close-up view of the northeastern part of the country with the uh, local surface observation seen here, and we can see with these wind barbs that the low-level flow is out of the northeast along the New England coastline and all the way into the I-95 corridor region between D.C. and New York City. Again, a cold air mass in place right now. It's actually a cold and dry air mass in many parts of the uh, Mid-Atlantic region. Notice this dew point right here in uh, Scranton, Pennsylvania region of 18 degrees. That uh, doesn't bode well for them. They'll certainly get some frozen precipitation uh, later on today. Again, right now, rain primarily, a cold rain inside the district, but just to the north across Baltimore County, Harford County, there is some sleet mixed in. All of this is a mixed bag right here in south-central Pennsylvania, headed towards southeastern Pennsylvania over the next couple of hours. Certainly some sleet and even snow should be uh, arriving shortly in the southeastern part of Pennsylvania and then later on today across the New York City metro region. Well, here's a radar loop from the Penn State eWall site. It has precipitation uh, type uh, color-coded. The blues and whites represent snow, the pinks, sleet, and perhaps even freezing rain, and then the greens and yellows, rain. There is some uh, snow showing up here overhead in southeastern Pennsylvania the last couple of hours or so, but all that did not reach the ground because of the dry nature of this surface uh, cold air mass. But all this stuff now across southeastern, uh, excuse me, south central Pennsylvania is in fact reaching the ground and that should move into southeastern Pennsylvania over the next couple of hours. Meanwhile, primarily a rain event, a cold rain event right now in the district, but well to the north there has been some uh, report of sleet, um, uh, even enough to uh, show up on the sidewalks and the roads in northern Baltimore County, for example and they can continue to have some sleet mixed in over the next couple of hours. But all this now headed north and east of the Mason-Dixon line. Well, let's take a look at a few forecast maps. This is using last night's Zero-Z GFS model run. The maps come from the website tropicaltidbits.com. Again, here the precipitation type is color-coded. Notice by early afternoon that strong high pressure sitting right at the New England, northeastern part of New England, the coastline there on its way off the coast, still cold air mass in place here this afternoon uh, along the coastline. A little bit of blue showing up here in southeastern Pennsylvania, that's snow. A little bit of a pink out here in central and western Pennsylvania, that's freezing rain or sleet, primarily a rain event by early afternoon in the District of Columbia. And let's now jump ahead six hours. Here's the forecast map for early tonight, and by this time, snow across northeastern Pennsylvania. Primarily a rain event by this time in the I-95 corridor from D.C. to New York City. Certainly still can be some slick spots 
in the uh, northern and western suburbs early tonight from Philadelphia north and east, the suburbs of Philly uh, and the suburbs of New York City. Uh, but then later on tonight, as this high continues to move off the uh, New England coastline, the warmer air will actually win out. It will succeed in eroding the shallow, cold, low-level air uh, sitting in place this morning across the I-95 corridor. And temperatures will actually gradually rise so that any mixed precipitation early tonight will change to plain rain later tonight. Could even be the development of some fog later on tonight as those temperatures slowly rise. And here's the forecast map for about 1, p uh, 1 a.m. just after midnight. Again, by this time, primarily a rain event. Uh, in the I-95 corridor, there can be some fog forming at this time. All the cold air has retreated up to New England, maybe some snow up there in the overnight hours. But again, any precipitation that's uh, of the mixed variety early tonight should change to a plain rain by later tonight, and there can be some patchy fog after midnight. Finally, here's the forecast map from last night's Zero Z GFS model run for tomorrow morning, Wednesday morning. Still some light uh, showers possible, but primarily a rain-free day on Wednesday and milder. The warmer air has won out. However, uh, a cold front, another cold front is waiting in the wings. It looks like it'll uh, drop through the uh, mid-Atlantic region tomorrow night and then turning colder again for Thursday and Friday. And Friday could actually turn out to be kind of a repeat performance of today with some mixed precipitation as once again warmer air will try to push north and east and it will be forced up and over a shallow cold air mass during the day on Friday. So again we could have more in the way of mixed precipitation in the I-95 corridor on Friday and over the next several hours mixed bag for the Philadelphia metro region especially the northern and western suburbs and the New York City metro region especially the northern and western suburbs. That's it for now for VenCoreWeather.com. I'm meteorologist Paul